guys welcome back in this tutorial we will talk about component composition now what do you mean by component composition so basically what we will do is we will base composite our components into an application so we will create two simple components so let's say the name of this component is say hello HTML this is the name of this component and then we will also create another component and uh, let's name it as hello attributes so this is the another component that we're going to go ahead and use now we will create these two components number one and number two basically composite these two components which will basically we're going to use these two components together so let's say we created another one here called nested components a third component which will be a combination of these two components and then instead of calling all these three to in our application we will just call this component and it will go ahead and take care of these two so that is called as component composition so we will create two simple components and then we will create a wrapper component this is a wrapper component which will basically include these two components and then in our in our application we will just call the nested component that is these are just the name of those three components so let's go ahead and do this in a practical way so first thing is let's just go ahead and create just get remove of these different components that we have created and this is our application hello.2 and now we will create our first lightning component and we will call it as hello html so this is the name of our first component called hello html and hit the submit button now in this particular component what we will do we will have a class defined we will create a css which will have this particular definition of this white and then here we're going to go ahead and just say hello html so this is our first component and then in this particular component i will also create another header element with the heading of h2 and we'll call it as check out the style in this list so this is our second header element and then i will provide the list of so i'll create an unordered list there's a tag available called ul in html and uh, it's basically we have three classes defined red let's say we will define the uh, these three classes i'm red then there's another one that i'm the list attribute we'll call it as i am green so this is my second component and then there is another one and i'll call it as i am blue so let's say this is my third component so now you have defined your first component called hello html now let's go ahead and add some styling to it so how you will do the styling so you will go ahead and click on the style button here and this is where you will define the styling so let's say the background color that i wanted to use is let's say gray so i'll go ahead and define my background color to be gray and then next thing is let's say i have a class and in that particular class there is something called as white is the name of the class and the background color is let's say is white here so that is my background color and name of my class is white so then i'm defining another class here and the background color would be let's say red here so we're going to go ahead and define red so just go ahead and change this let's say we have another one blue so we call it as blue and then we have another one we call it as orange so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and use these classes in our example so we have three classes red blue and orange so we'll go ahead and say red is already used so we'll go ahead and say class is let's say orange so this is going to appear in orange color i know it says orange you can just change the text
and then I'm going to go ahead and use this class, which is basically nothing but the, I'm going to use this particular blue here. So I'm going to go ahead and define this class. So I have defined my first component and I've added some styles to that component. Now let's go ahead and define another component and uh, we will go ahead and call it as hello attribute. So this is, this is my first component and now I'm going to define my second component and let's say I call it as hello attributes. This is my second component that I'm defining and hit the submit button. So now in this particular component I have defined an attribute let's say aura and I'll define an attribute. The name of my attribute is whom and the type of the attribute is string and the default value for this attribute is So the spelling is default value is Udemy. Let's say this is the default value that I have. So this is my first attribute. We call it as type is string. The default value is Udemy. You can put it wherever you want. And then here I'm saying hello. And then if I wanted to show the value of this one, well, how will I do that? I'll say hello exclamation mark v dot of this particular variable name. So I'm going to go ahead and display this particular variable name. So in this particular one, I have not added any, I have not added any um, coloring or anything. So this is my second component. Now we will create a third component and that will basically include these two components. So we're going to go ahead and create another component and we will name it as nested component. So we'll go ahead and name it as nested component. So we'll go ahead and say nested. Here we're going to go ahead and say nested component. So we're going to go ahead and define, we'll name this file as nested components and hit the submit button. And this particular component will include the other two that we just created. So first thing it will include is let's say I wanted to include the this file include other components okay so to call the other component we will use C as the namespace and what was the file name hello HTML so I'm going to go ahead and say hello HTML this is the this particular component will get called which has all the styling and everything and then let's say I wanted to call the other one which is nothing but the net, the, which is nothing but the hello attributes one. So then if I wanted to call it, let's say I'm going to call it by hello attributes. That's the name of this. Now this hello attributes also has a particular attribute name home. So now I can provide the value of this attribute through this component as well. So how will I do? I'll say whom and then I'll name the value would be called as let's say component composition. Okay, so that's the value of this attribute which is defined in hello attributes component file. So now I'm going to go ahead and just close this stack. So this is my, so this particular component contains two different components. One is the hello HTML and then the other one is the hello attributes which is these two components. Now in my application which is this hello application, I'm not going to call all of these. What I'm going to call is I will just go ahead and say call the nested component. So we'll just go ahead and say this particular file. To call that, we'll just say nested components. This is how I'm going to call the, the last, the main one, which is basically the combination of the other two. So let's go ahead and run this application. So to run it, we'll just go ahead and hit the refresh button. See. So this file include other components, hello HTML, check out the style in the list and it shows you three different tags. But the thing here is it does not display the red and all those kind of stuff. So now what will I do here is because, so now it basically shows you red, Udemy, blue. Now the, they might, guys, there's one more important thing. There was no space in here in these classes and this, this, so you need to have some space. So that's why it was giving you just all gray because it didn't acknowledge this thing. So you need to have space between the class name and this. So now if you go back and refresh it, you will see that, okay, this is orange, this is red, this is blue color. 
So now this is what it is going to go ahead and see. Now this part is coming from the second component, which is this basically you're providing the attribute value as component composition. And basically this is the second component it is displaying. This is the first component. And this is what we have is the, this is an example of component composition. So just a quick recap, I have created two components and then these two components are create are called in the third component, which is called as component composition. So the first component is called hello HTML, which basically displays this thing. And I have creating some styling for these, which I have defined into this style sheet. And then there is a second component, which is called as hello attributes, which basically has an attribute defined whose value is Udemy. And then I just say hello, this one. Now here in my nested components, I am calling the other two components by just say hello HTML and this hello attributes. If you don't provide the value of this one, it's just going to go ahead and use the existing value. So if I, which is basically nothing but Udemy. So if I go back here and I don't provide the attribute value, and if I go ahead and refresh this application, instead of component composition, it's going to say hello Udemy because it will take the default value of that. And then in my third component file, which is the nested components, this is what I have defined. And in my main application, which is the hello to app, I have just called this component, not the other two, because this component indirectly calls the other two. So this is an example of component composition.